Line looks good, and they're off. And Celestial Show was one of the first to bounce out. A quiver got out nicely with Lord Baracus the inside. Going forward as Bold Impulse also with Walk on Ice wider out. When they settled fully into stride, a quiver led narrowly. But there's pace from the outside. Walk on ice looking for the lead and Bold Impulse is third. A length and a half, Celestial show up in fourth placing. Black Ledger is around her three wide. Lord Barak is over on the rails. Two and a half lengths further back in the field then uh, came at the head of the other's iron horse. And he's followed by Super Riveneur with another length and a half. It's contagious. Three lengths away is Spirit of Hope outside San Antone. And then El Montazar and Sir Linford brought up the rear. A quiver held them out near the top of the hill at the 1200, a length and a quarter. In second placing, walk on ice. Bold Impulse is third and Black Ledge has got in off the fence. One off the rail now in fourth. Two lengths, Celestial Show, fifth with a bit of cover outside Lord Baracus and then Iron Horse, followed by behind the Super Riveneur. Then two lengths, It's Contagious, followed by San Antone. Spirit of Hope, the outside, and then at the tail, El Montazar and Sir Linford. They come to the railway side and a quiver. Out by a length and a half, Walk on Ice, Black Ledger third, Bold Impulse fourth, Celestial Show, fifth, the outside, trailed by Lord Baracus, Iron Horse, and then Super Riveneur, followed by San Antone starting a run. Back behind them, it's contagious. And then Sir Linford, who's got back to third last now from Spirit of Hope and El Montazar. They're nearing the 500 metres and a quiver narrowly from Walk on Ice and Black Ledge has gone up to make a line of three. Here's the favourite Celestial Show working home well. She's got the fourth. Two lengths, Iron Horse running a race and then came Bold Impulse and Super Revenue. A quiver led narrowly. Celestial Show wide out and Walk on Ice in the centre. Black Ledge has dropped off well in the straight now and a quiver's kicking on the inside. Celestial show winding up strongly on the outside and they've come away to fight it out. A quiver the inside and Celestial show 100 out. A quiver by a half. Celestial show trying hard but a quiver's giving lots and a quiver wins at three quarters. Celestial show. Photo third. Bold impulse or super revenue three lengths away. Then it's contagious. San Antone and Iron Horse from Lord Baracus. Uh, they were followed in then by Walk on Ice in that bunch and further back was Sir Linford. Black Ledger dropped out of it. Spirit of Hope is next to last, and a long last was El Montazar. They're set and racing. Thong and push bike Della Vista began well. Go on spending it a little slow with runs to win. Rancho Spark began very fast as they go through the first 150 and Blofeld is right up there along the inside. Settling down now, Blofeld drove up on the inside rail to retain the front with Rancho Spark. Freeman made a line of three. Right behind them is Lou Kohler, followed by Captain Clipper, Nine Night Louie, midfield and wide from Bushball. Go on spending in behind them and then came runs to win. And at the tail of the field, here at Della Vista and Thong and Pushbike. Passing the 600, Rancho Spark went to the lead about a neck clear to Blofeld retaining the fence. Captain Clipper third, followed by Bushball going around the outside quickly and then Freeman. There's Thong and Pushbike starting his run. The Greys coming home well and then came Lucola. Go on spending and Della Vista Nine Night Louie dropped out as they corner. Rancho Spark and Blofeld, Captain Clipper. Here comes Thong and Pushbike right down the outside with a big burst at the 150 now and Blofeld the inside with Thong and Pushbike coming at him hard. Thong and Pushbike racing up to Blofeld. Rancho Spark between them. Thong and Pushbike's coming home the better though. The Grey takes the lead and Thong and Pushbike came away and won the final by a length and a quarter. Blofeld. Rancho Spark again third and then go on spending. Bushball followed in by Della Vista. Captain Clipper and runs to win. Long break to Lou Kohler who's next to last and then Nine Night Louie and dropping out to finish last of all was Freeman. Jaco Caravans, race seven is set to go. They're off. Sacred Shield began OK. Prince Key drifting back with Havana Town soon after the start. And Zero Drama is the first to bound out, finds the lead early. Mr Goldfly got away well and Colin Special is up there on the outside. Followed by Surfboard and the Pink Cut as he settled down in fourth place, trapped a little bit deep. The Flea in behind them and they're followed closely by Little Dozer. Sacred Shield on the rail and Havana Town's three or four wide. Further back is Mr Magistrate, followed then by Gunnell on the outside and Prince Key is deep. Classic Ben 
Edinburgh is in behind them and they're followed at the 800 by Sciatica and off to sea. Coming up the side, Zero Drama from Cotton Special Surfboard deeper out. Mr. Goldfly is getting a lovely run fourth on the rail. Followed closely then by the Flea and Havana Town wider out. Prince Key deeper still. Little Days are very hard ridden. Two lengths to Gunnell, followed by Sacred Shield, Mr. Magistrate, Classic Benbarra, Sciatica and off to sea. Zero Drama slipped away coming past the 400. He got away about two lengths in front. Uh, following him through there, Mr. Goldfly. Coming wide as Prince Key with his run. Colin Special battling along in the straight. Zero Drama, the leader. Out after him, Prince Key down the outside. And Mr. Goldfly under the whip, starting to come home fairly well. Zero Drama still with a good lead, though. Reaches the 100, a three-length margin over Prince Key, Mr. Goldfly, and Classic Ben Barra. And Zero Drama kept going, holds them out. Zero Drama wins it two to Prince Key. Mr. Goldfly will grab third, I think, a nose to Classic Ben Barra. Then Mr. Magistrate, followed by Colin Special, Sciatica made ground the inside. Next was Gunnell, off to sea, Little Dozer, the flea, followed in by Sacred Shield, surfboard towards the tail end, Havana Town last. All clear now. Racing. Shalaya Me jumped fairly with Fellowship. Lady Camelot began well. Yellow Star looked to be a little slow. Our Viper Demesia away quickly and Divine Hope's going up in the early part. As they settle down, it's uh, here Demesia wide out. Divine Hope through near the inside. Our Viper settled down in third. A length Nordica Shalaya Me about fifth in the line. Colors on the inside, then Dancing Phoenix. A length Rustic sell out wide around Fellowship and uh, then came Lord Lady Camelot on the inside. And Yellow Star is last of all. Divine Hope railed up near the 600 took the lead from Demesia. Shalaya Me follows Divine Hope around the turn and then our Viper and Nordica. Dancing Phoenix coming to the outside from Lady Camelot. Fellowship a long way back. Rustic Cell towards the tail and deep. Divine Hope led round the home turn by a couple. The main danger Shalaya Me coming home well and then Demesia clear of Lady Camelot. Passing the 200 though. Divine Hope's kicked a further in front by four lengths now from Shalaya Me and then Demesia. But this speedy filly Divine Hope has got it shot to pieces in the last 50 and welcome back to the Winner stall, Dale Smith. Divine Hope won it by four Shalaya Me, Demesia third. And then Fellowship followed by a rustic cell. Then came Lady Camelot and Dancing Phoenix, our Viper. Well back as Nordica and Yala Star. In one 3.9, Shalaya Me, uh, rather Divine Hope, jumping to the front. And it uh, was too good for the well tried Shalaya Me and Demesia. Victory in the last on the program and uh, it'll be a very welcome return to the winner's stool for young Dale Smith. Uh, when he went out, I think he was leading uh, uh, one of the premierships. I think it might have been the uh, apprentice's title in the, in the country uh, that he was well on top. And he's just had a horror run since then. Uh, he was out for some weeks with a broken ankle. And as I said before the race, uh, he, uh, when he was starting to get himself going again, he copped a suspension for two or three weeks. And this is his first Metropolitan winner for a heck of a long time. And it's come at just the right time, of course, uh, as we're about to enter the winter racing. And Dale, of course, can still claim three kilos. Ready to run. One mile for the sires produce. They're off and Ruby Wednesday out the back. And Lilo Lil began well. She's going to be the early leader, showing good speed also on the inside, or Chilla. Coming over Ruby Sal and Saturday Fever Oliver sending the horse forward, but trapped a little deep in the run to the first turn. Followed in a bunched field by M&M, &M, who's uh, about fifth and out wide of my tally. Or Chilla getting back now from multi-win. Then Blavita and Ruby Wednesday last. Saturday Fever stroll to the lead. Oliver's trying to go as slowly as possible. Tully Thunder moved to second on the outside today. Third is Ruby Sal racing on the inside. And then came my tally and wider on the course there uh, was Ruby Sal followed by M&M &M ahead of it. Lilo, Lil Saka, Gawaya. Then multi win or Chiller getting back from Ruby uh, Wednesday. And last of all, with 700 metres to go as Bolivita, it's Saturday Fever leading by a half length to Tully Thunder. 
third is Ruby Sal and fourth Bye Bye Princess obscured to this date from Lilo Lil Mai Tally. Then Multi Win starting to make a run around Emmett M and Saka Gawaya's on the rails. Then came Ruby Wednesday followed by Orchilla and Bolivita last. It's a packing field on the size produce on the turn and Oliver's controlled it to suit himself on Saturday Fever. And Saturday Fever brings them around the turn but Tully Thunder, the only Victorian in the race is up on the outside and challenging now. Three wide was Lilo Lil, four wide Mai Tally and Multi Win starting to run on into the straight at the 350 Saturday Fever Tully Thunder's cruised up and put the head in front but Lilo Lil let go on the outsides coming at Tully Thunder Lilo Lil and Tully Thunder they've drawn clear of multi win my Tully Saturday Fever only battling Lilo Lil put the head in front trying to fight back Tully Thunder but with a blinkers off today she settled better Lilo Lil and ran away to win the size produce a length and a half second Tully Thunder third Saturday Fever from multi win Blavita ran on well followed by my Tully Ruby Sal Sakagawaya Ruby Wednesday Eminem or Chilla and Bye Bye Princess was last. They're talking about the possibility of an upgrade. I don't think so. The time is 1.40 and 27. 1.40, 27. And Lai Lo Lil, number five, who began extremely well. And Lever just elected her to settle under her own steam. And she got in behind them midfield throughout and was much too strong. Chad Lever for Leon McDonald. Leon's won two races. Let's hope it doesn't stop for South Australia there. Tully Thunder, Gallant in defeat, ran terrific races in each of the Triple Crown events. Wayne Kerford, Ross McDonald, and Saturday Fever, no match for them today. Just Away they go. And from the inside, Kawasaki Sam was the best to begin. Roddick is showing good speed after the start with Desuba. Wider out perfecter in the pink cap is accelerating with its uh, with the uh, Chimera. And so too Sylvana in the leading group. Flying Spice making past uh, making ground past them with Del Trice. Getting back in the field now, Strawberry to Suba third last from Sanctus with Carlin. Chimera takes over. Leads by about three quarters, moving up quickly on the outside now as Perfecta. Third Del Trice from Roddick. And Flying Spice in the middle is well placed. Sylvana in the Cerise colours with the blue cap is racing midfield around Kawasaki San. Followed by Strawberry Fine Stem taking off from Carlin to Suba and Sanctus in a slowly run a race as last as they come down the side. 800 metres to run and the pilot is Chimera three quarters in front of Perfecta. Sylvana Ryder unhappy with a pace. Preble he's taken off around the outside to go up and join Chimera in the lead before the turn and she got there fairly comfortably. Fine stem making ground with Del Trice. Carlin coming into it. Roddick is lost on the inside at the moment. Held up for a run to the inner of Flying Spice with something to offer. Then Carlin followed by Strawberry. Taken to the outside Sanctus and well back on the corner. Kawasaki San and in a bunched field to Uber was last around the turn. It's Roddick on the inside with Chimera and Sylvana three out. Then came Del Trice off the track. Sanctus let go with a big sprint. Flying Spice about to get into the clear. He said go on Sylvana. She put pay to Roddick. Out of the pack. Here comes Del Trice and Carlin. Flying Spice can't go with them nor Sanctus. Sylvana's blowing them away in the Stuart Crystal. She's well clear Sylvana. She's going to win by a space. Sylvana, a huge run, took off early but sat up again and went again in the straight and won the Stuart Crystal by four. Sanctus second, third, Carlin from Roddick, followed by Strawberry running on. Then Deltrice, followed by Perfecta, Flying Spice couldn't sprint, followed by Kawasaki, San Desuba. Handicap, Adelaide Cup. Step, they're racing in the binary Australia Oaks, and Cassidy chased Tempest Morn out of the gate, and she's going for the lead. Repeat performance away, Will. Coming over Cloud Dance, Secret Agenda wide out. Jern's heart is pressing on, and deepest at the first turn for Travis Creek is Jericho Rose. Then there's a line of about five. Limerick Flyer didn't rear at the start today, and she slotted over onto the rails. Got ahead of Glitzy, Guru and Serene and past them went. Around the outside of them goes Princess Stephanie. Further back came South Sea Pearl slotting over. One off the fence. Asia's three wide towards the tail of the field with McBeal followed by Lolita Star. Second last as they go by the 1800 metre crossing was casual remark and two lengths away last of all is Club Girl heading to the back of the course and Jern's heart took up the running led by a length and a half to Jericho Rose. Two lengths away, third Tempest Morn, followed by Cloud Dance, repeat performance, secret agenda. There's plenty of speed on at the mile. Three away, Princess Stephanie, South Sea Pearl and Limerick Flyer having good runs. 
Asia's got over one off the fence, followed by Glitzy Guru Serain. Low leader stars a long way back, together with McBeal, followed by Casual Remark. And two lengths away and some 30 lengths off the lead for mine is Club Girl. As they go by the 1400, it's Jern's Heart leading by a length and a half to Jericho Rose. Third repeat performance. Then came Tempest Morn in the clear fourth, followed by Secret Agenda. Then came Cloud Dance, followed on the inside by Limerick Flyer taking closer order. From uh, Princess Stephanie, then South Sea Pearl, a long way back, Asia Glitzy Guru. Serene starting a run, followed by McBeal, then came Lolita Star. They bunch up down the side of the thousand. When they do, Casual Remark got onto the heels in front, and Club Girl took off around her. Past the 1,000 they go. The pilot is Jern's Heart from Jericho Rose. Cassidy has Tempest Morn three wide stalking these leaders. But there's South Sea Pearl making her sprint at the 800. And South Sea Pearl, Tempest Morn reach the lead together. Asia tracked them into the race. So too Serene, the maiden, starting to run on. Glitzy Guru got lost behind some tired horses. She's starting to put in her run. At the 600 metre mark, South Sea Pearl outside. Tempest Morn from Asia. Serene, one of the SA hopes, has tracked up behind them. Then Secret Agenda. Repeat before performance on the inside. The rest headed by Princess Stephanie. Glitzy Guru's a long way back after negotiating traffic. At the 400, they turn for home. Tempest Morn inside South Sea Pearl. Asia's coming at them strongly. Asia's raced up with Tempest Morn. They're the joint leaders, but Asia let go with an lightning burst of speed. Asia went to the lead from Tempest Morn, who fights back. Then South Sea Pearl, low leader star, followed by Secret Agenda. It's going to be another New South Wales victory in our three-year-old Phillies features because away goes Asia. Asia breaks her maiden status and what a race to do it in. She won by two and a half. Second was Tempest Morn. Third, maybe South Sea Pearl from Lolita Star. It's a photo. Glitzy Guru got lo a long way back when some of them stopped on the side. Followed by Secret Agenda, then repeat performance. Cloud Dance, followed by Casual Remark. McBeal, Serene knocked up. Well back, Princess Stephanie, Club Girl. They're coming in at long intervals. Jericho Rose and Limerick Flyer tailed off. And here's one more, Jeune's Heart. Asia, number three, written by Damien Oliver for Jack Denham. He hadn't had a winner today, but those Oliver fans would have stepped into this one. Asia has raced on and won easily. Jack Denham was here for the Australasian Oaks. I don't know whether he's here today, but look, she wouldn't still be here, this filly, if she couldn't do that out there today. And at, at the journey, she's run right up to her AJC Oaks placing in which Temp she had a battle with Tempest Morn for the Miners that day as Rose Archway. Well, that Rose Archway had a battle with Tempest Morn, I should say. Carlton's happy at starting time. We're set to go. And they're off and racing. They came out pretty well. Silent Impact over near the inside out OK. Citrus Prince is keen to lead in the early part. And he's about to find it. And Spa Party King and Royal Treen's going quickly from out wide. On the turn out of the straight. And Citrus Prince, the leader from Party King and Royal Treen's about to cross them and run to the front. Karazi's out four deep on the turn out of the straight. And Silent Impact's going to get a nice run back fifth on the rail. Then came Cyrene, Midnight Babes out deep, followed by Meet the Stars and Revel with a cause the grey as last. Up to the 1,700 metres mark and Royal Treen goes to the front, leads by a length. Karasi a second, Citrus Prince is third on the fence and Party King fourth, Silent Impact getting shuffled back on the rail. Midnight Babes about to scoot forward three deep on the outside. Cyrene's third last, followed by Meet the Stars and Rebel with a cause last of all. Heading down the back towards the 1,400 metres mark and Royal Treen led, not a great deal of speed on. Midnight Babes outside it now. Karazi third, Citrus Prince fourth. Party King is fifth and Silent Impact is pulling very hard. He hasn't got any galloping room at all on the rail. Then meet the stars on the inside of Cyrene and Rebel with a cause as last of all. Past the halfway mark, 1,100 out and Royal Treen leads the field to the top corner by the neat length. Midnight Babe second, Citrus Prince third, the fence. One to Karazi fourth, a half to Silent Impact, fifth on the rail, still pulling hard. Another length to Party King, a half to meet the stars, one to Cyrene and one to Rebel with a cause. They're on the side, they're 900 from home in the Metropolitan and Royal Treen led. A length over Midnight Babe and they're starting to quicken the tempo now. Party King about to rush up three deep on the outside. Citrus Prince on the rail. Then Karazi, Silent Impact's behind the eyes. York just trying
trying to get off the fence now. Then came Meet the Stars, Rebel with a Cause and Cyrene. On the bend, 500 out and Royal Trainers first around the home turn out by a length. Party King second, followed by Citrus Prince and Karazi, Rebel with a Cause in the clear. And Silent Impact's a long way from them, Meet the Stars running home. Royal Trainers still the leader, 300 metres to go. He's out by two to Citrus Prince. Rebel with a Cause joining in and then Karazi. But Royal Trainers still going strongly past the 200. He's clear. Rebel with a cause in second spot, then Citrus Prince, but Royal Train's in front. Rebel with a cause can't pick him up, and Royal Train leads all of the way. Royal Train beats Rebel with a cause and Citrus Prince. Fourth home, Silent Impact. He had no luck, and he pulled too hard for too long. Further back on the field came then Karasi from Meet the Stars, Party King, Cyrene, and last time was Midnight Bait. So is the Almighty One. They're set and they're off and racing and the Almighty One was slow to move at the start and Stars of the Seas didn't begin quickly. Fetz Galance was the first to ping out and feed the meter began well. Now Go Bint's going quickly with Chief's Deputy from out wide. Air War just behind those when they settle, followed by Old Hat. Lovelorn trying to get on the outside of Awesome Weather. Then Cocky Cruiser, followed by Carbrasel. Star of the Seas back third last, followed by Reenact, and the Almighty One is last of all. Up they go to the 1700 metres mark, and Fetz Galantz is the leader with the ears prick, led by a link to feed the metre. Go Bint third, racing fourth as Old Hat fourth on the inside of Air War in the middle. Chief's Deputy having a tough run out three deep, and then came Lovelorn. Awesome Weather's next in the middle, and then Cocky Cruiser on the fence, one to Carbrasel, two and a half then to reenact on the outside of Star of the Seas and three to the Almighty One last of all. Down the back inside the 1400 metres mark and Fetzgalon's travelling smoothly, three parts to feed the metre. A length further back on the field, Old Hat getting a nice run, he's third on the inside of Air War and Go Bint's out three deep. Another length to Chief's Deputy, he's in sixth position on the outside of Lovelorn. Cocky Cruiser's next on the inside of Awesome Weather and two to Carbrasel, one to Star of the Seas. A half to reenact back second last, and the Almighty One is last of all. The Grand Prix goes to the top corner of the field, does it? The 900 metres mark, the saddle shifted again. I don't believe it. On Fetz Galantz, the saddle has shifted forward again. You can't believe it. Fetz Galantz led, feed the metres outside it. Now two and a half then to Air War, third outside Old Hat. Then go Bent Love Lawn, followed then by Chiefs Deputy Awesome Weather. Carbrasel taking off on the outside. Then came Cocky Cruiser, Star of the Sea. Reenax about to come to the outside and the Almighty One is last of all. Around the bend, 400 metres to go and feed the metre on the outside. Went to the lead from Fetz Galantz. Racing third, Air War, followed by Old Hat in the middle. Two lengths away, Awesome Weather. Carbrasel and Reenax coming on the outside. Fetz Galantz on the inside and feed the meter, but here comes Reenact. He is storming home on the outside, then Air War, and shortly afterwards, Reenact, like he did in the size last year, dashed to the lead. Air War about to run into second spot, but it's all Reenact. He's careering away, and Reenact bolted in the Grand Prix from Air War and feed the meter. The next time, awesome weather, the almighty one, Carbrasel, followed by Old Hat. Then came Fetz Galantz. Further back on the field, Love Lawn, Star of the Sea, Chief Deputy, and Go Binders last of all, and reenact. Ready to go. Spying in the middle. They're racing now. And Prince Hakeem didn't begin all that well. He's back second and third last early. Great Crusader the first to go. And Matter of Honor began brilliantly. And Make My Magic's up running third with fine action when they go around the first corner. Then Sahara Covet, Ruthless Tycoon. Federal Agent out a little bit deep. Dynamic Love midfield outside Major. Then Aggravation. Higher worse than midfield now. Then a Glacier Porter Rocker. Prince Hakeem's a long way back on the field with Palladium Star. Brighter scene and spying to the 700 metre. Mark Matter of Honor the leader. Fine action second. Great Crusader third. Federal agent fourth. Make Mine Magic sitting fifth. Then just behind those, Ruthless Tycoon outside. Sahara covered aggravation. Then Major a Glacier higher in the middle. Prince Arkeem a long way back. And Palladium Stars pull to the outside in the straight. Matter of Honor the leader followed by Fine Action. On the outside, Make Mine Magic is getting into the clear. He's coming after them quickly. Then Great Crusader followed by Federal agent. Matter of Honor in front of the 200 metres. Mark, but 
Make Mine Magic coming after him quickly now. Matter of Honor, the leader. Make Mine Magic's going to him now. The grey Make Mine Magic took the lead from Matter of Honor. He's coming away. Make Mine Magic beat Matter of Honor. Third fine action just in front of uh, Fred, Federal Agent. Then Great Crusader, Aggravation, Porter Rocker Hire, Ruthless Tycoon, Prince Hakeem, Dynamic Love Spying. A long way back then came Major, followed by Sahara Covert, Brighter Cena Glacier, and last home in the race was Palladium Star. Biggest 